Today we're going to show you how to manage permissions for SharePoint Online and Office 365 via AppPoint Cloud Management and AppPoint Online Services. When I select the Cloud Management module and then select the Administrator module within Cloud Management, I have options to manage the permissions within Office 365. I first start by dropping down my registered sites to see the locations either in SharePoint Online and my Office 365 groups or my OneDrives for Business to be able to select an area and then begin managing permissions. When I select an area, I'll then need to select the security tab at the top of the screen. And then I have some options around what I can do with permissions within those scopes. Now, I can have the option of dropping down to the subsites, lists, or libraries within the scope I select in SharePoint. So here are my subsites, my lists and libraries and my SharePoint Online site collections. I can choose to clone permissions between users and groups. I can choose the user I want to clone those permissions from and then where I want those to clone to. I can filter the information right for these objects or the data within the scope I've selected and where those permissions will be applied. And I have additional options around how I want those permissions to transfer. I can specify how I want that group information to be managed, to remove explicit permissions, right? Remove users from groups, or even delete users or groups from specific site collections. If I'm cloning users to replace individuals in my organization that are no longer there, I might want to select this ability to delete the source or user group from a site collection. Now, I can include a detailed report for the search results here to get much more information about the job that's run. And then I can also run this on a schedule if I want this job to run on a regular basis to regularly update permissions within the environment. I can also choose to send a notification once this job has run. And when I'm done with my options, I simply select OK. And the schedule will apply if I've selected one and the job will run. For granting specific permissions, I can choose whether I want to grant permissions, grant temporary permissions, and I can also search my current temporary permissions. And these will apply to users and groups in the environment. I simply select the option for the scope that I have selected in Office 365, and then again, fill out the form for what I want. I can choose the users and groups that I want to grant these permissions for and then choose the level of permissions I want to give them from within SharePoint, and then choose the expiration time and choose whether or not to send a notification time to those users or groups. Once I'm done with my options, I simply click OK to provide the settings. Now, it's also important to understand that I can create groups from within the GUI as well. And I can also go to my security search results by selecting the job monitor and then selecting the results for a security search. Then go into my security search result, view search result to edit the permissions from a result form from the security search that I previously run in the environment. By doing that, I can simply select the user and then I have options around removing users from groups and deleting users in the environment. And for groups, I can make changes as well. These have been the options for managing permissions from the administrator module within Cloud Management. Thanks for watching.